All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this Xerox grungy print effect or whatever you want to call it here in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this image as a reference. This is my artboard size. From here, I'm going to go to the layer, right click on it. Let's convert a smart object and let's go to the filter, filter gallery. And first, what we're going to do is go to the texture, select the green. And here, make sure the contrast is on 50%. I also gonna increase the intensity somewhere around 60, 70, and I gotta go down here, click on the plus to add another filter. And now we're gonna go to the sketch and let's gonna select the torn edges. I think it already looks amazing. I'm gonna customize a little bit these settings. Check this out. If you decrease it, it's gonna add more shading. I'm gonna increase the smoothness. And this way, if you increase the smoothness, it's gonna make these details are really sharp. If you decrease it, it's gonna make it blurry. So I'm planning to go with like 13 image balance. Again, you can adjust the shading and I think I gotta go with these settings. Click OK. Now let's go down and let's select a solid color. I'm gonna make this a red. Click OK. And now we're gonna go to the filter. Let's go to blur, select Gaussian blur, convert a smart object and I'm gonna go somewhere around half. Click OK. And now what I'm going to do is go to the blend mode and change it to dissolve. And I'm going to go and add a mask on this red layer, select this mask here. And now I'm going to go and select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black. And I'm also going to decrease the opacity so this way I can see the model. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to delete the red where the eye is. And I'm going to start removing it. And for example, if you increase the opacity back to 100%, you can see it is going to create this brush effect. I'm going to decrease the opacity again and remove some painting. Let's say you don't like the result and you want to bring some paint back. You can swap it from black to white here. So the white is going to be on the top. You can select the brush tool. And for example, I'm going to make it with a little bit of shading. So I'm going to put back a part of the red. So it's going to look like that. And now I'm going to go and increase the opacity back to 100%. And normally I should switch this to multiply here in the blend mode. But as you can see, the eye area where we deleted it, these removed areas won't appear as grainy how it was before. So we're going to need to change it back to dissolve. And I'm going to right click on the layer, convert a smart object. And now I'm going to go and change it to multiply. Check this out. It made the effect possible. So now it's a little bit too strong. So I'm going to select the layer with the red color. And I'm going to go to the image adjustments and I'm going to select the curves and here I can adjust it. I can increase the color of the red. I'm also going to bring it up here and make it a little bit more soft. I'm also going to add some more noise, press and hold alt, click on the plus to create a new layer, rename it as noise, change up the mode to overlay, make sure to select fill with overlay neutral color, click OK, right click on the noise layer, convert to smart object. Let's go to the filter noise add noise and i'm gonna go with these settings click ok and i also gonna go to the image adjustments levels and and let's bring the levels a little bit more up nice and high click ok and from here i'm gonna go to the adjustments select the curves again and i'm gonna bring it here up a little bit and i'm gonna adjust it so we can get a little bit more authentic look you can also bring the noise up there you go. Now it's more visible. I'm also going to drag and drop some grunge and just stretch it out. Change up the blend mode. And I'm going to go with the lighten. Repeat the steps and find some blend there. And this is how I make this grungy vintage print effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.